Okay, we're ready. Ready? What happened in the app stores in 2018? Hello, my name is Thomas and today in this video we're going to review what happened in the app stores in 2018. I just came back from Slush in Helsinki where we have been talking a lot what's going to happen in 2019 but then I realized maybe it's a good time to sit a little bit back, relax a little bit and have a look of what happened in the year 2018 within the app stores, especially with the topic app store optimization. 10 years ago, Apple released the Apple App Store. It was the first app store of its kind, and since those 10 years, a lot of things have already happened. Within 2018, app store optimization gained a lot of attention, and that comes from a good point, because developers started to realize it's more than just looking at numbers like uh, the CPI, meaning the cost per installs. It's also looking at values like retention and the lifetime value of your users. App Store optimization is delivering people to you that are searching for your game or for your app within the App Store, giving you a high boost on the retention value because those people have actually looking for a game like yours or an app like yours. Google and Apple brought in a lot of new features, improving the user experience within the App Stores. But they not only did stuff out there that helps the end users when they are searching for apps, they also brought in new tools and new features that help you better understanding what's actually happening within the app stores. Google released a feature that is showing you which keywords are bringing you actually downloads and also sales. We integrated this feature as well into AppRadar within our app metrics field to give you insights in which keywords are bringing you downloads and valuable users for your app or your mobile game. When talking about new features and AppRadar, one of the greatest features that we released in 2018 was our changelog. The changelog is the first of its kind that helps you automatically documenting all the App Store optimization changes you do for the Apple App Store as well for the Google Play Store. By doing so, you finally have the chance to analyze which changes are impacting your downloads and bringing in more users. This means if you change keywords, it is now possible for you to analyze exactly how those keyword changes affect your downloads and also your rankings within the App Store. When talking about downloads, Especially our new feature of bringing app metrics into AppRadar will help you analyzing where are actually your downloads coming from. And not only that, it will also help you optimizing the downloads that you are getting through organic search. Have you ever wondered which keywords you should actually choose for your app? Within 2018, we invested a lot of time into making our artificial intelligence even more intelligent. And it can now support you with keyword suggestions that are really smashing it for your app or your mobile game. The Keyword Explorer will help you spotting keywords with a high popularity, for which you can easily improve the rankings by putting those keywords into your title, your subtitle, or into your keyword field. And one special bonus for you guys to end this video with our recap for 2018, emojis. Apple now allows you to use emojis within your app information. I don't have to tell you, emojis can be a very beneficial when it comes to the topic catching the attention of people browsing to your app store page. So this was our recap for 2018. Like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the notification icon to be informed as soon as our next videos are live and keep optimizing.